So I call the Parliamentary Secretary for Health. Chief Minister. Thank you, and it's great to follow the member for Solomon, who yeah. was extolling the virtues of speeding up the rollout of the NBN in the Northern Territory, yeah. which I find somewhat unusual. Yeah. In recent yeah. weeks, I've had the opportunity to visit the... Order. Yeah. Order. Manners. The member for Ballarat has the call. My clock starts again after that appalling interruption. In recent weeks, I've had the opportunity to visit the many tourism attractions in my great region. The, uh, those have been uh, highlighted particularly as I went recently uh, to the reopening of Crowell Castle in my electorate. And what has been highlighted in particular is the support from the government to the tourism sector across the Central Highlands and the Goldfields region of Victoria. Uh, one of the immediate highlights, as I said, was the reinvention and reopening of Crowell Castle, which is just on the outskirts of Ballarat. With Minister Ferguson, I had the pleasure of attending the official opening of the Crowell Castle redevelopment. The government provided $110,000 under the TQOL grants program for the new entrance attraction at the castle and the labyrinth of the dragon sorcerer. This walkthrough high-tech special effects family attraction is a new gateway in first impression of the castle, which has again become a great family attraction. The smiles on all at the, fa at the faces at the opening, particularly the eager children, including my own son, was demonstration enough that the redevelopment has sealed a very bright future for that tourism venture. I've also recently visited the terrific Ballarat Wildlife Park, where the government has also invested another $110,000 in TQOL funding for the new crocodile billabong experience. And if you live in the southern states, it's the only place you can see a great croc. I'm sure you can see a few more in your own, uh, own electorate, uh, Deputy Speaker. But uh, certainly uh, in Ballarat, there's not a lot of crocodiles. But certainly at the Ballarat Wildlife Park, that is where anyone in the southern states can have a great uh, experience viewing what is a very large croc gator. Uh, the very large croc in residence and the other occupants of the existing facility uh, will have a much more larger appropriate accommodation for them. And uh, again, this is a great Cork tourism, tourism facility. Uh, just last Friday, uh, I was also at uh, our fantastic Sovereign Hill, uh, where we again announced over uh, just on a quarter of a million dollars under the Tourism Industry Regional Development Fund to make it easier for people with special needs to visit Sovereign Hill and to stay in their accommodation. Again, it is a fantastic facility in my electorate, a great tourism icon for the entire country, and delighted to be able to announce that funding. This is alongside some uh, fantastic work that's being done at the Clunes Museum and in Interpretive Centre, some $2.7 million uh, being invested there. Uh, obviously, Sovereign Hill. We've seen smaller scale tourism f uh, facilities like the Greendale Half Church, also the Dalesford Spa Country uh, Railway in my electorate, and uh, the Creswick Woolen Mills. All fantastic tourism facilities. Uh, I'd encourage all members, if they have the opportunity, to come and visit my electorate. There are some terrific things happening in tourism, and many a day uh, can be spent visiting each of those.